Hello friends, this is Dave of javacodejunkie.com and welcome to another Java Swing video tutorial. In today's episode, we're going to tackle the J checkbox control. A J checkbox is a Java Swing component that can have one of two states, either selected or deselected, and it also displays its state to the user, usually in the form of a box that has a checkmark for the selected state or no checkmark for the deselected state. Let's go to Eclipse where I've already created a new Java Swing project, and in that project, I have a mainframe class, and in the mainframe class, I have three private instance variables, one for a J frame, one for a J panel, and one for a J checkbox. What we're going to do is create a J checkbox, add it to the J panel, and add the J panel to the J frame. To create a J checkbox, checkbox equals new J checkbox. Now we'll add the J checkbox to our J panel. And then the panel to the frame. Let's run. We'll right click on our project, run as Java application. And you'll see a checkbox that doesn't have any text and that is currently deselected. We can, at this point, click on the checkbox and it becomes selected with the checkmark. Next, let's add some text to our checkbox. Checkbox dot set text checkbox. We'll again run and now you see that we have the word checkbox to the right of the actual checkbox graphic. We can still check to select and uncheck to deselect. On the flip side of setting the text, we can actually get the text that currently is set on a checkbox text. We'll just do a sysout checkbox dot get text run and now we get the word checkbox in our console which is the text that we've set on this checkbox we can add a mnemonic to enable us to use the keyboard to select and deselect the current state of the checkbox checkbox dot set mnemonic key event dot virtual key i'm going to use the letter c and now you'll see that the letter C has an underline, which means that we can use the keyboard in combination with the Alt key, the letter C, to check or uncheck our checkbox. So to check, Alt C, and again to uncheck the same Alt C combination. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any content when I release new videos. Thanks again for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it as always, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, I hope you stay safe and keep on coding.